Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a session using a previously created template. Let's take a look. So here we are in our TC1 interface and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a brand new session here which I'm going to later use as a template for uh, any session that I have afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead just to make these settings a little unique. I'm going to make my preset 4K at 2160-30p and let's just call this 4K Master and start up that session. And what's nice about setting up uh, sessions with a template installed is you can put all of your camera inputs, uh, different settings, audio settings, virtual sets, pretty much anything that you would configure inside a normal uh, session and then clone that into a, another session so that you can have completely different uh, sessions and keep them organized without having to have a huge mess between each event that you have but keep the same settings. So here we are in our uh, master session here and as you can see there's nothing in here this is a completely blank session so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just set my workspace to just be these eight put inputs here so you can kind of see what I'm doing so what I'm gonna do is uh, just select some sources here so input number one I'm gonna go ahead and select the output of my TriCaster Mini which is me here on my virtual set hello everyone and on input number two I'm going to go grab some other NDI sources from my NT1IO. So we'll do that as input number two. And then number three here. Number four. This is just to kind of set it up and give you an example. As I have a couple different settings coming in uh, and different feeds from different sources as well. And under DDR, let's just grab a few clips here. And so I'll just grab these four clips. All right. Now, as you can see, I'm not saving any bin presets or any camera presets or anything like that. I'm just basically selecting my sources. So from here, let's go ahead and close this session. And exit all the way back out to the main menu. And I'm going to start a brand new session. So I'm just going to say, let's keep this at uh, you know, HD, uh, 1080-60i. But what I want to do here is I'll make a new session call this 4k uh, host and now what I'm going to do here this is the important part is under template selecting a session from the ones that I've already created and since I created 4k master let's select that and as you can see this is already grayed out all of my settings that I could possibly change because it's going to observe all the settings from the previous session that I've created so let's go ahead and hit start on that So here we are in our new session, which is called 4K Host, which I use the 4K Master as my template. And as you can see, it's uh, preserved all of my input settings here. So my uh, output from my TriCaster Mini is over here, and then my NC1 inputs are over here as well. And if I click on the DDR tab, you'll see those four clips are in there as well. So this is a great way to stay organized and create different sessions, but also having to retain all the information that you've created in another session. That way you don't have to go in and select different input sources for each row uh, and do different audio configurations, at uh, DDR uh, populations, etc., and not even have to save any presets at all. Extremely powerful tool. Now, if you like this demo and you want some more information about TriCaster products, go to newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a personalized demonstration by myself, and I'll show you some more ins and outs of the TriCaster systems. Until then, thanks for watching, and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.